Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today we are going to be creating a mermaid cat. Yes, it's a combination of a cat and a mermaid. So let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to create a straight line. On the upper part of that straight line at the top, we're going to make our cat, our cat head, and then at the bottom part, we're going to make a tail, the mermaid part of our tail. So we're going to make a straight line up and a straight line up and then a slanted line down and a slanted line down coming from the top of each of the lines. Now we're going to connect those two slanted lines with a straight line. That is going to be the head of our cat. So you can decorate the face of your cat any way that you'd like. I'm going to give you a suggestion. I'm just going to put some small dots for his eyes or her eyes, a nose with some whiskers, and a small mouth. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bottom part of our mermaid cat, which is actually the the tail of the mermaid so what we're going to do is we are going to make a curved line and then we're going to make another curved line and then once we get close to this initial curved line we're going to touch let me show you what i mean so we come out we come down we come back in and we touch now we're going to make the tail part of our mermaid so we come out with a curved line and come back in this is kind of a tricky shape so you'll want to practice it. So basically you curve up and you curve back in. And then you start at the top, you curve in and you curve back out. So let me show you again, out and in, out and in, you can either go that way or you can come back this way like this. Let's put a little bit of detail inside of each side of the tail, a couple of straight lines. Now inside the actual mermaid tail, what we're going to do is we are going to make a series of U's going all the way across the bottom of our initial line. And those are going to be the scales. And then what we're going to do is we are going to move down a little bit and we are going to make more curved lines. They're almost like letter U's and they're, they're hooked together. And do you see what I'm doing? I'm hooking the bottom part of the initial curved lines to our next series of curved lines. So right there in the middle. This can be tricky. You might need to practice. So basically you come down and you just keep moving it on down. And as you go down, your mermaid tail, the scales get a little bit smaller. So they start out pretty big and then they get a little bit smaller as you get closer to the bottom of the tail. You see how I'm doing that? And like I said before, this is a tricky thing to do, but you just practice and you'll get better and better. And then at the end, they're going to be pretty tiny. There we go. Now let's make a little, uh, a couple of little paws sticking out of the side. There we go. If you'd like to put a little bow or if you'd like to put a few little waves showing that our mermaid cat is in the water, that would be a good idea. It's up to you. How cute is that? This is how I represent water when I'm creating water. What do you think? I hope you like this lesson. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.